So we want to sketch the isometric view of this object, which is pretty simple, but I'd like to show the process how you can draw. So this is a front view and right view and top view. And the first step you need to do is to draw a bounding box, the minimum bounding box that is completely enclosing the object. So here in the right side and the top side. So on the front side, it's going to be a rectangle. We need to count the grid. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six grid for the width. And one, two, three, four, five. Five grids for the top. I mean the height. And the right side view, um, the depth of that bounding box will be one, two, three, four, five. So that will be five again. The height of the top view is, should be the same as the, the width of the uh, right view, which is the depth of the bounding box. So that will be five. So it's going to be a six by five by five um, block. So we can draw in different ways. So let's say this is a bounding box and you can take this as your front view or take the other one as your front view. But since we have a right view, it might be convenient to take this direction to be your front view so that you can also see your right side view as shown right here. Okay, so we're going to take it as a front view and right view and this will be a top view. And the size of that bounding box will be 6 and 5 and 5. So on this isogrid paper, we'll uh, draw the bounding box first. So I'm going to randomly choose any location here. I don't know, like here. And uh, its depth is 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. And the height will be 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 will be the height. So I'm going to erase that. So width will be 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Then you can draw the corners using the grids. So here is your bounding box. That's the corner that is close to your eyes. And that's the opposite corner, the back side. All right. Now we have this bounding box and we need to fit this object inside the bounding box. All right, so first thing you can do is finding the normal surface that is on the surface of the bounding box. So maybe this L-shaped surface here, that should match the side in here and that should match the, the side on the uh, top view here. So it should be a normal surface. Normal surface is the surface that is normal to your eye direction in one of the uh, principal directions. So here on the front view, this L shape should appear on here on the plane. Okay, so and that is located like lower left corner. So we have uh, two grids for the width, so one, two grids. And its height is, again, two grids. So it'll fit right here in the L shape. We know the location of this L shape because from this L shape, we draw a horizontal line. It looks like it's on the uh, left hand side and it's the lower, lowest side of the top view. So it should be on the frontal surface of the bounding box. So we can locate that and we just draw that L shape here. Roughly draw. like that. All right, that's for this L shape. Now, uh, look at the top view here, and we have a rectangle and another rectangle, and another rectangle. And if you drop a line here, so that means the, this rectangle will, will meet here. And uh, if you draw a line horizontally and reflect it, from this 45 degree line and that whole area should be on here okay it could be a here and there but uh, it most likely it fits with this height so this rectangle should be on the top 
of this bounding box okay and it's on the left hand corner so it should be right sitting right here and it's with this two grids so it'll look like that okay and what else do we know from the right side view uh, potentially this shape would be a normal surface or this rectangle or that rectangle um, this rectangle in the middle looks like they're like uh, on the inclined surface here so um, this will be a part of the wedge or rib uh, but it looks like this guy, this surface, should fit on the right hand side and also should fit here. So this will be a normal surface that is close to your eyes, which is on the side surface, on the bounding box. Okay, so we can draw this shape here. The height is two in two uh, grids, so that should match this line. So draw a horizontal line like that, and vertical. This is one grid each side, one grid high. Okay. Now basically, now we see that so basically make it, uh, this part is made of an L shape. Okay, so we will, we can roughly sketch L shape like this. So we have an L shape. Uh, bracket here and this line is an angled line it can give you a hint that there may be an inclined surface so if you draw a horizontal line that should meet that and horizontal line so this rectangle will represent the surface on this inclined line so this will be an inclined surface again it's draw a horizontal uh, vertical line that'll meet this rectangle there. So it's kind of a pattern that you have a triangle and on two sides are uh, rectangles. Uh, that means there's a kind of a triangular rib in the middle. So this location of the triangle rib will be two grids from the left side, uh, from the uh, right side view. So it's a one, two grid. So it'll sit right there this line okay and this depth of the uh, rib will be three grids so we'll have three one two three grids and so the rib will come like that and the height will be two grids so it'll sit something like that so we'll draw that rib. All right, just if you have a ruler that you can draw more precisely, but I'll just draw with hand. So completing that, all the lines is visible. And I'm gonna erase the line that are invisible. And that'll create this object. 